Yeah, this uh, this is our latest uh, research prototype developed as part of the grant of the foundation. We have integrated five uh, uh, mechanisms, I mean the research components into it. The self-washing and cleaning mechanism, there's a self-water uh, conservation mechanism, there's an automatic uh, closet, uh, or, um, I mean, uh, uh, closet disinfection system. It goes inside our chamber and disinfects the uh, seat of the toilet and gets back ready for the next user. So these were some of the components which we have identified for further improvising public toilets across India. And the good thing about these is that they are all modular. You can retrofit it into any existing toilet or you can have all of them together into one single toilet as we did here as an imperial model, which is a high-end model, definitely. But this could cater to a lot of public requirements across India or any other similar places. So this is the one model which we have prototyped and some of the components will be integrated into our next forthcoming field trials with those uh, the other grantees. inside. Two, two access mechanisms, either you can insert a coin or you can insert a card and the to toilet opens. Now uh, when the person enters, uh, this is uh, this comes the toilet seat comes disinfected so the person use he can use that and whenever he exits after he exits this goes back to a chamber it make it disinfects again and comes ready for the next user that is one component second one is within the closet on uh, that uh, that itself there is a pressure washing system a sucking mechanism which is which is you can see as in the case of aircrafts which reduces the water uh, usage uh, by more than one third of uh, water requirement uh, that is our next research component third one there is a flow washing system which we have done in the other toilets because since this is a western toilet we did not integrate here but we have one in the other toilet so uh, after every 10 users the flow cleans because in Indian squatting type toilets, they tend to be dirty after if it's rainy and all the mud and all around. So people would like to have a toilet which is clean with, with the mud and everything gone. So there's a flow wash mechanism and there's also a water minimization, a sensor-based water minimization system. Like it depends on the duration of the usage. If it's three minutes, it flushes 1.5 liter of water. And if it's more than three minutes, it's four, four liters of water. So it, it ensures that the water is minima, used at the minimal level. So that is also there in the other uh, systems. Okay, thank you. This, this is a school model. We have implemented 150 of them in various places in schools in Kerala. This is also automated. Or this, uh, it has a self-washing system. You can, uh, before a person enters, uh, toilet dust of cleaning uh, washing so it, it's clean for the next user and uh, given the ch if children they don't flush they forget to flush and they get out of the toilet once they get out the toilet flushes there's a manual flush also available and after a fixed number of users like 10 users a flow wash works so this is the electronics we have put in school toilets but this is found to be a very good uh, I mean thing for the schools because uh, schools children they come together in one lot in, during process time and uh, the, there's no time for them to clean the toilet and for girl children we have we put up uh, the napkin incinerator and vending machine so they have uh, the, the, they meet they can meet their menstrual requirements during that time that is found to be a very good thing about uh, students and we convey these messages of cleanliness and hygiene through these ca cartoon characters which has become a very good uh, thing among, among the students so see we say that there are nature's people who are already clean their surroundings like the the cat or the worm or the crow which uh, takes care of its own ways the cat buries its own ways so we should be like that and convey these message to the students so hopefully maybe in another two to three months you build in a new sanitation culture that's what we hope about and it has found to be very good uh, I mean, among women and most of the member of the parliament, uh, member of the Legislative Assembly, they they uh, initiate these projects in Kerala. And at the back then? Is this, this is the one we are integrating with the Duke University for the processing. This will take it to a field and do a field trial with the university for the next one year or so and see how the, it works. And then we can see if, if they can get back as the energy, I mean the water for uh, running the toilet. This is the general public e-toilet available installed in uh, 300 plus locations in uh, India. Uh, this is an urban model. 
it is unmanned you need to you can put in a coin to enter the toilet though we call it as electronics there is no electronics for a normal man who uses it, it you can use it just as good as a normal toilet the electronics component include a sensor uh, based uh, i mean lights and fan gets on only when the enters the toilet it again has the flushing and the uh, uh, self washing mechanisms and there is a web interface which ensures that the toilet is up and running if the toilet is down it is alerted to uh, uh, the person in the control room so he he sends a service engineer and he comes here and uh, ensures that it's the toilet is not down if there is a uh, low water the toilet gets closed by itself so it won't allow a person to enter and dirty the toilet it is not possible to uh, use without water that is what we do here and uh, since it it's not manned we provide a very good dignity of labor we have service engineers and they are not cleaners so you need not have a cleaner every day every moment to uh, clean the toilet he comes at least once in two days and see if there is some purposeful date dirtying of the toilet he comes and see that there is nothing uh, bad uh, in a toilet Before the Gates Foundation gave you additional yes, money? Yes, the toilet existed before that. These flushing mechanisms we did as part of the Foundation's grant. Uh -huh. Yeah, we integrated that uh, component along uh, with the grant uh, research we did and we put that in the toilet. Uh -huh. Yeah, we had a flushing mechanism, but that was not the one which we wanted. But this helped us to give a more efficient flushing, uh, automated flushing system. And you're already making a profit from mm. all this? Profit is yet to come, but we are we are doing an impact on that because we are a social enterprise. Uh -huh. We we have to work, and it's a painful process working in sanitation in India. We are there in for the last four years. Uh, we have to. I mean, it's a hard working. The, the system is also working, improvising the toilet, the uh, the uh, the interfaces, the business model surrounding that. This space can be used for uh, advertisement mm. display, which fetches your revenue for maintaining the operational expenses. So that is something which the local bodies are interested in because they don't have to shell out money for maintenance of the mm. toilets. Yeah. The plumbing and the electronics. But these 300 toilets that you've installed, um, who paid for them? These are bought by the local bodies or the government agencies. They have funds for sanitation. But did they mean you didn't have to subsidize that? No need, because they earmark a fund for uh, the sanitation infrastructure. Uh -huh. Most of the local bodies have an annual budget for that. Some, what they do normally is that they uh, construct a toilet but who is going to maintain that and that becomes a problem and ultimately the toilet get abandoned but this is a model where we say that we are not just selling you a toilet mm. we will also have a service uh, mechanism after that there is a service engineer who takes care that the toilet is up, up and running even after a, a fixed period of warranty free warranty and then we go for the servicing part of it which relieves them a lot mm. yeah